Hello colleagues, this is a Canvas power user tip to create a quite nice to-do list for your students on your Canvas homepage. One of the challenges that certainly exists in online classes and also in remote learning situations, but also even in person-to-person -person classes, is directly and clearly communicating to your students what is happening, what is due, what they should be working on, those types of things. The calendar in Canvas certainly can be used for that, but it only captures things that are actually assignments with due dates. And often we want our students to be working on other things, like watching lecture videos, like participating in different other learning exercises, that maybe aren't set up as an assignment, okay? So those things will not show up in your Canvas calendar. And so what I implemented in this spring of 2020 as we went into remote learning is I set up a to-do list for my students. So that's right down here on the bottom of my homepage. So here's my daily to-do list. And what you can see is if you click any one of these days, it essentially lists the things that the students should be reading, what they should be watching. Um, also, as we get into assignments, there's assignments to complete. Notice that all of these are hyperlinked, and I'll show you how to set up all those links and set up this um, collapsible to-do list. One thing we'll also notice as we scroll down here to the bottom is a couple days that were already opened, and you can actually preset these days to be opened as a student navigates um, down your list to see kind of what are the most current days, either current one day or current multiple days. You just have to manually set those. So I typically pick kind of a, a window of days that were the most current. So let me show you where you can edit this. So first go into edit. As you get into the edit window, um, notice up here in the upper right hand corner, this rocket ship kind of showed up. It said launch design tools and then it slid back over to the right. Click on these design tools. These design tools are some really well put together. Essentially they're, they're pre-scripted HTML coding tools that allow you to put together some really nice elements in your Canvas page. Now one thing you'll need to do if you haven't used these already is go under these design tool settings. We're going to need to enable down here, uh, scrolling down, these accordions and tabs is the things that we're talking about today. So if you don't have that checked, go ahead and check that to green. And then as you look down these advanced elements, we can open this up and you can see here's our accordions and tabs, okay? So that's what I have set up essentially under this item right down here, this daily to-do list. And so in this view, it shows every single link I have under those accordions and tabs. So let's say that we also had an assignment here on this first day. So let me go ahead and here, I'm just gonna type this in, complete. Turn off my bold. And now to put in these hyperlinks, I'm gonna go ahead and cl close the design tools window because there's something hiding underneath it. It's this links window over here. And let's say on that day that we had a homework assignment due and that homework happened to be homework number four. Okay, so literally by just clicking on this HW04, and this works whether you're in announcements, whether you're editing any page, whatever you're doing. If you click here, it takes the text HW04 and it puts a hyperlink to the file that's behind it right into your um, page. You could also type out if you wanted to homework number four, if you had a different name you want to call it, then highlight it and then also click here on HW04 and it creates that hyperlink behind your text. Okay, so two different ways that you can put in these direct links. I'm going to delete this just because that homework uh, assignment wasn't due that day. All right, so back into our design tool. Now there's a couple of different views. You can play with these if you want to. I'm using the expander version. There's also an accordion version that would work. And there's also tabs. Now tabs might work if you had less than a whole bunch of days in a semester, but I was just gonna list those horizontally across the top as students could click on those different tabs. So once you set these up, you can add extra days fundamentally by just adding a panel. So they call each one of these, what I'm treating as a day, as a panel. And so if we wanted to, you can see here that we ended currently on Thursday, May 14th. If I click on add a panel, what that will do is it adds another blank panel down here at the bottom. So if I scroll down to the bottom of this list, here is my blank panel. I could put in my date. Let's say something's gonna happen on the next Tuesday. 
if you wonder what just happened there, I have an auto hotkey um, script set up that I can put in codes for, I, was, I used to always mess up the dates and days. And so um, I took that out of my hands. And then you basically type in wherever you wanna do, add your links, add whatever else. Now, if you're curious how to have those held open for your students, that gets into these check boxes over here on the right-hand side, okay? So if they're checked, they'll be held open. So let's say it's closed, these two that were during finals week. Let me open these new one. This, let's just say hello. Uh, just put some content in there. So that one will be held open as I look at it here next. And of course, you can delete any of these by clicking on the red X. You can move them by grabbing them and sliding them using the up, down arrow. So quite a bit of functionality in there. Now, you don't need to hit save or anything over here in your design tools, but you will need to hit save as you close out of this edit window. And so if I click save, it saves those latest edits. And now as we come down to our to-do list, scrolling down to the bottom, you can see here is that new day and it says hello um, and so that's what we just added to our system and it was held open because we had checked that box so that's a quick overview of how to set up a to-do list using these canvas design tools in this case we're using the accordion and expander tool thanks for your attention today